ليش يقصفوني ليش يقصفوني ان جايات قوات التحالف من لشن حماية المدنيين ان ليبيا مرصودة تحت القمر الصناعي كل شيء موجود قدامها يعني تشوف فيه يعني مستغربين كيف يضربونه كيف يضربونه We looked at eight sites across western Libya in which 72 civilians lost their lives. Overall, NATO took a lot of measures to minimize civilian casualties. The choice of targets, the choice of weapons, the timing of the attacks. But these 72 people did lose their lives. And until now, NATO has taken a position of denial. They refuse to acknowledge that civilians died. They refuse to give information about how they died. And they refuse to investigate. It's this lack of transparency that's deeply troubling. Our job is to monitor the violations, no matter who is committing them. And that means gaining access to the areas. It means interviewing people on all sides. And it means uh, holding all the parties accountable. We were in Tripoli and heard news about a NATO strike that killed dozens of people. When I got to Madra the day after the attack, uh, both of the homes were still smoldering. Relatives were distraught and in shock. NATO targeted three compounds clustered near to each other. In one of those uh, compounds, NATO hit the house that was full of displaced persons from around the conflict, people who had fled area of fighting to take refuge in this house. In one of the houses, between 10, I'd say 10 to 15 minutes after the strike, there was a second strike. The neighbors and relatives from around the area rushed to the scene to help people who were buried in the rubble, either wounded or killed. And a, another NATO airstrike hit as these people were trying to provide their assistance, and it killed 18 men. In Madra, we believe one of the weapons used was the GBU-12, which is a laser-guided munition. It's uh, incredibly precise, and it is guided to the target by the shooter, who has uh, infrared optics. And this allows the shooter to, um, to observe the target with a high degree of um, clarity. We wonder how they chose these two houses, why were they considered legitimate targets? But the second strike on the people who came to help, the shooter would have in all likelihood seen that people were digging through the rubble. So it raises very serious questions about whether this was a legitimate target. Maybe it was an unlawful target, meaning a violation of the laws of war. NATO launched thousands of strike sorties. And 72 deaths is relatively low, but that's no excuse for failing to examine why these people died. And it matters for two reasons. It matters first for the people who suffered and their families, so they understand what happened and potentially they can get compensation. But it also matters for future campaigns. Because if you don't examine what went wrong, why a civilian died, then you will not learn from mistakes. And civilians are more likely to die in the future.